Hey guys, it's Jen with another painting. This painting is fun and funky. Um, I have little flowers, abstract flowers on it. Um, and I named it Flower DNA. I have three short poems about flowers that I'm going to read if you want to listen. And if you want to read them for yourselves, I have the links um, to the poems in my description box below. The first poem is called Rainbow of Summer Flowers by Marilyn Lott. What wonderful colors surround us as we enter the summer season. Tiny buds have opened up and they have a very good reason. For the sun brings out the people and all the brilliant flowers. And just when they're ready to wilt, along come a few little showers. Yellow marigolds are perfect and perfect and purple dianthus smell ever so sweet. Lilies come out in all colors. They are each a summertime treat. The floral smell in the air is delightful, uplifting our spirits nicely. Some flowers have a honey sweet smell and others are just a bit spicy. Enjoy nature's perfection in this season that truly shines. For before you know it, we will all have left the nice weather behind. The second poem is called A Daffodil Day by Teresa Hooley. All day long blew the daffodils. Oh, what a sight to see. A um, myriad of gold-gowned daffodils dancing in their rhythmic glee. Night drew down upon the daffodils. Gold was the moon on high with a golden star crowned twinkling daffodils in the sky all night long blew the daffodils all night long on the lawn pale grew the stars in their course and up came a daffodil dawn the third and final poem is called thank god for flowers by clay harrison thank god for flowers of each and every hue from baby pink roses to plumbago blue the fragrance of jasmine enhances the night, and each water lily is a pearly delight. Magnolias by moonlight bring sweet memories as springtime awakens the blossoming trees. The common hibiscus brings uncommon joy, and the purple shy violets are bashful and coy. Long-stemmed red roses are reasons are the reason that lovers sing and the frost-covered crocus ushers in the spring. Beautiful orchids decorate the prom, and pastel carna carnations pay tribute to mom. Flowers bring comfort to both pauper and king, and one cannot measure the pleasure they bring. From Easter white lilies to plumbago blue, thank God for flowers of every hue. All right, guys. Well, those are just three short little poems that I looked up. I thought they were really cute. And um, <clears throat> like I said, the description for them will be down below. Um, this painting is just, I didn't really, I didn't really plan this one. I just sat down and started going um, and made it up as I went along. Usually I have a plan, like I'll sit and stare at the canvas for a while and create a, a master plan in my head for how I want it all to look. Um, but this one came out, you know, better than I thought it would. It's just funky and cute. You'll see in a minute that I have a broken black flower ring and I decided I wanted to add this in here because I don't know it just it, I just wanted to so I didn't like the black here I am painting it and adding just like different layers of color and um painting it I ripped a hole in the canvas so that I could put the bottom part of the ring through there and then super glue it so it stays um I use this crazy glue and it is so powerful. <laughs> uh, if you're a crafter or use glue a lot, like this crazy glue is amazing, and, but it will stick to your hands and it will not come off for a while. <laughs> it's like if you peel it off, you're like peeling layers of your skin. 
Um, but anyways, this came out kind of cute, kind of funky, kind of different. And let me know what you think down below. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Let me know if you like the poems. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.